Welcome back everybody to my sixth instalment of looking at the Proverbs. We are going through the whole book of Proverbs, sometimes verse by verse, sometimes not verse by verse, sometimes it's selection of verses. So here we're going to look at um, chapter one of Proverbs, verses eight and nine. And they read with the, with the title, The Enticement of Sinners. Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Indeed, they are a graceful worth to your head and an ornament about your neck. Now, I want to talk specifically to people who perhaps haven't had a father or mother. Perhaps your father and mother had passed away. Perhaps you were sexually or physically abused by your father and mother and you were moved out of the family home for your own protection. You were fostered. You were adopted. So you obviously don't have a very good uh, experience of a father and mother. This is talking in sort of symbolic in the sense of even if you don't have a real father or mother, there would have been someone who would have been a guardian over you, perhaps your grandma, perhaps your foster parents, people that had wisdom over you. OK, so it, I don't want you to dismiss this, these verses to mean only people who had fathers and mothers that loved them and didn't physically or sexually abuse you, so on and so forth. That's awful. If that happened to you, that's absolutely awful. OK. But you can still take on board this verse for the guardians, the grandmothers, or whoever it is that did look after you and did take care of you and did try to give you instruction. So if you're a young man watching this video and you've got a foster parent or somebody above you in authority, you may have a lot of anger towards those people because they represent to you the authority that abused you. I, I, I get that. I get that. I, I can't empathise with you. I grew up with two parents who loved me very much and didn't do those things towards me. So really, I can't empathise with you. Uh, but I, I can perhaps appreciate that it must be darn awful, OK? It must be darn awful for you. But I just want to give you some encouragement. Don't kick your heels against the people that are now trying to look after you and now trying to do their best for you, whether they be foster parents guardians, grandmothers, grandfathers, your older brother, your older sister in some instances, they're not going to get everything right. Not everything these people in authority say are going to be right, which is why you have to be what the Bible calls a good Berean. And uh, what that means is, is to take everything people say and weigh it up. Is it right? Is it true? So with this situation, you have to ask genuinely, is the person in authority over me, a good, decent person. And if they are, why should I be rallying myself against them? Should I not be heeding myself to their wisdom and instruction in order to lead, lead a better life for myself? So this is really important. And then in doing that, what, what it's saying is do not forsake those teachings. Do not forsake those things. And if you don't forsake them, all the good teachings that you're receiving from these people, maybe you've got a good teacher at school who's really cool and looks after you, where like no one else has. Listen to them. Listen to what they have to say. Because then it, it says it will become like a graceful worth on your, on your head and ornaments about your neck. So it's really important. For those who do have a genuinely loving father or mother, or both or whatever, then, you know, this is even more important for you to take that advice, to take on board what your father and mother saying to you. Not everything, not all of the things a father and mother say to you is going to be correct. I'm not suggesting you just take everything on board, but the, the stuff that you've weighed up and said, yeah, this, this makes sense, this is wise, then take it on board, take it on board, add it to yourself, work on it, with that in mind. Okay, thank you for watching.